just not making sure on that point. Um, the, so you say the um, the sparkly, the sparkly rocks. How do you know that an event is ending? Because like, if I go back to home, it's like play reward book journey. Like, where's where's the event information? New season. I'll just take you to a web page. Unhelpful. Um, quests, friends, leaderboards, what's new? Event, that one. Uh, there's a timer in the shop. And also, yeah, Shoops, Shoupe, I still don't know. Um, his adventure, so you log in, you get one. Weekly quest is five, daily quest five, wins are three. Ending like ten hours. Um, yeah, available for 11 hours. There you go. So if I win one more, then I can have this she-troll. So maybe I win one more game? Okay. So I guess well, having that so early isn't useful. Mm. Thrive on that. Let's not have the witch's apprentice. Unhelpful. So they really wanted dominance. Do I just crush their dominance and chuck out my egg? It's tempting. Or I could Garulta, but that seems like a waste. Let's... Uh... Uh, your kind is nicer. Okay. I'm glad I'm doing it right. Or at least maybe not wrong. It just neutralizes this thing. Or he could play his own one. Um So I could Garolta. I think that's my preferred move. Because I, I could also do like 6 damage to it, but then don't have anything to do the other 2 damage, so... Let's get this over with. And if I really want, I could play Osral onto the melee row and take his Yurkern and pass because I'll be on like 37 he's playing Osram well great great minds think alike it's just a shame that it was his mind um that slightly ruins things I mean, I could damage it for six, just to stop the dominance, really. Lava, probably. I mean, this thing is just going to keep going up, though, setting up some Thrive engines. I'm just feeling this isn't necessarily a Thrive time anyway. I'm going to do that for now. If it's the wrong call, it's my call. And I'm sorry. But yeah, the, um, the lava that then 
playing the man traps maybe next. Or the maybe the the damsel. Lava into damsel. Or no. Because this uh I can I can play onto the range road to double it up here. So what have they got? They're gonna damage my Yukan now. No, they're gonna increase their own one. What is this round? Dominance shift? Is that a type of deck? I mean, I, I get the dominance part of it, but like, is there a the shift part? Is that? Um. No, just a funny situation. I mean, yeah, it's just like it just keeps keeps going backwards and forwards. Let's let's go with. Drive, go on. We'll do something. Because we're not too many behind. If he decides to pass for some strange reason. Uh, newbie's deck, same cards. Who, who are you calling a newbie? I've played, what, like 31 online games now? I think you find. Yeah. Um, anyway, so he's put Frost there, which is causing a problem because it's going to. In two turns, kill that. Although, okay, there's only one turn now. But if he's smart, then he would put Frost on that row again. And he might be smart. I don't know if I just pass. Take the card advantage and run. Because he's played a lot of his good cards. I assume. Uh, pass, I guess. We can eat Yikam. this thing to eat it. Yeah, but I could also play that next turn and eat it then. To prevent it from dying. Uh, I just... Man trap. Okay, sorry. I didn't understand and I was running out of time. Um, to man trap it. Oh, to consume it. Um, yes. That would have been a good move. I, I, I like that. <laughs> if the clock wasn't clicking, I may have... Uh, we may have got there. Um, so this can be a Thrive round. So we have plenty of Thrive cards here. Let's see... Um, maybe not this one. And maybe not that. Yeah, but we have to get out. He had Dominance and Eriton on board. Yeah. And the ability to Frost. Like, it could have been very easily taken out of my hands. Um. So how do I start this? I guess it's not going to be too quick around. He's already got things out. Let's go into the manor, I would say. Can you open your graveyard to check what's in there for Mamura? Um, nothing yet. However, with the... If I can get up to chapter 2, it's going to play my... One of my griffins. Um, don't commit to hard, too hard until op gets below seven cards. Yeah, I mean, they're already on seven, so in theory, they could just decide to pass. So I'm already in the danger zone of them just passing. In fact, if they passed then, it would have been, you know, lost my advantage. Um... Uh, yeah, this thing. It 
it's a good combination, those two. Playing that and then that into that. Yeah, well, we thought this was going to happen, didn't we? He passes, and so we'll just play... If we, on purpose, play the dam... Oh, what else has got Thrive? Damsel. So the griffin comes out. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get across. Have you seen my name? Well, we'll end the turn, and then we'll pass. So, if you saw someone do that, would you instantly think, oh, he's got a mamun mamana? Or would you just think nothing of it, and just be like, oh, you know, how, how in tune are you to the game that you would instantly know what's coming next? Right, we don't want that there, because we want mamana to pick it up. Um, cat, so thriving stuff is good. He can consume big as well. Maybe we don't want to do thriving stuff on this round. Where, what round are we on? It doesn't say. What round are we on? Final round, okay. Um, yeah, I'd, the cat I'm not sure about. Uh, do that. I was hoping for something different, but oh well. Uh, no, griffins are not always play with my mana. So what do we want to start with? I'm thinking... Uh, thriving first. So we won't play... We'll play this on a row... Um, later on when it doesn't have Sabbath. Because we don't want to be playing the griffin. But uh, Leader and Lava, yeah. Which one was I going to do? Um, yeah, Lava's the one. So he really wants dominance. He boosted himself twice there. Did he? Uh, then the chat next. Oh, the cat. French. Got ya. Uh, <laughs> so, and we could do it here to save that one? Or is that risky? Fine. Maybe it was risky. In ranged, okay. I mean, it does save it, but it, um, that was a boost of opponent's passive ability of the leader. Um, whenever you play the wild hunt unit, if there's a frost on the opposite road, boost it by one. Um, tank Frost with Cat, it resets anyway. Yes. Yeah, I, w I was kind of half in two minds. Do I do that? But then this will go down by two, and therefore, when it resets... Oh, it's it's a complete reset, isn't it? It's not that it starts from two, it starts from four again. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, whenever you apply a row effect, boost itself by its duration. I mean, I can't lock it because he's veiled. Don't even try to lock it. So now, ah, oh, Veritas, thank you very much for following. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Um, I think, well, I want to play the Man Trap, maybe. Now Beast. Because if we're going to be doing Thrive stuff, would you not get extra triggers? Two points engine. Uh, hey, you came to support a new Gwent streamer. Welcome to community. Thanks for uh, coming and chatting and saying hello. Hope you're you're doing well. 
I hope I'm not too um too new for you. Uh, this is my fifth stream, and um, me and Mas and Ebenezer have been here a few times, helping me out. Uh, I would have lost a lot more without them and other kind people, so you feel free to jump in and tell me what I'm doing wrong, because there will be a lot of things that I'm doing wrong. Um, what have we got? So they've played Nithril. So they're, they're still going for dominance. Um, and damaging each turn is going to be annoying. Uh, this will get me up. But I wonder if I just... Uh, good luck target this thing. Oh, yeah. True. Our cat is at 8. It will be next turn. It will be at 8. Oh, no, this turn. Well, let's just do it. But it's still, without dominance, it still does one damage, which is, in my books, annoying. Yeah, I've used a lot of these cards, because, as we know, this was a dominance deck before. Um, and that's going to keep getting boosted as well. Um, I'm worried about this Mamana. Because it's already at the point where it's going to trigger Sabbath when I play it. Uh, go other Thrive cards. Yeah. Uh, we will do this and trigger phase two. Oh, I guess I can. She already triggers it. Yeah, the because of Saba. Uh, replay into another row. What is when you deploy? I mean, there's nothing about where you deploy the cat, but it can tank things if you want it to to prevent Saba. But I think both rows they're both too high, right? Um, what gold cards do I have? I've got the Toad. So at any point I want, I can have the Toad. Should I eat the Frost Queen? Is that useful? Um, what's Devotion? True Disability. So we take the Throat. It has to be on the melee row, I think. I don't know. It, well, don't forget to play the cat. Uh, anyway, the cat could have tanked that, really. Maybe that was what I should have done. Um. Was that the queen? I don't know if, what. Like I know, I know we did it, but the queen. Where's the queen? It doesn't even show up in the history. This is another thing with Gwent. So it's like, you know, something did happen there. It just doesn't tell you. Uh, I know it's summoned, but it, it would be nice if it's. This is like, it should give you a history of what's happened. Match history. The fact that it was summoned, even if it wasn't played, it should maybe have an icon that says this thing was. Played, or this thing was summoned and therefore it's a different thing. Um, anyway, we weren't fully paying attention to what they did. They played that guy. Okay. Um, so... I'm just wondering if there's a thing that we need to be doing. Like, we can consume our Yig, that's fine. Um... Uh, if it would not trigger Thrive, which it wouldn't. I 
I guess it doesn't really matter the order in which I'm playing these. But this now has thrived, so it's good that I played it then. I mean, he's going to be putting a lot of frost on. Um... Sometimes, like, I know I'm supposed to be doing something. It's fine. I think we have enough points in the bag that it doesn't matter. But, you know, when... You, yeah, whoopsie indeed, like... Uh, and also didn't play the count. It's fine. <laughs> it's clearly getting to that time. It's like half eleven, so... Um, but as I say, hopefully... With a lead like this, and knowing that we're going to get, what, like, 20 points? Not the thing that I would have attacked, because it's just going to reset. Um, so what we're going to do is... We're going to play... Special Row? No. It will end up playing, and we're going to put the griffin on this row so that it eats the man trap. That's my plan. Right. He needs... What's that? 66 points? Surely not. A fitting gift for our king. Those three last rocks. Give him the GG. And that means we complete rank 23. Oh yeah, we, we set our journey back. And you were saying it was just a, a visual bug. So if I go back into journey now, 10 bonus left. Not that I know how... Like, which button are you supposed to click? This one? No. Like, that takes you to the story, and then you exit the story, and then you're in the mode. Bizarre. Click back. Then journey. So, like, back. Then journey. That's not quite the same, is it? You have a quest of playing one alchemy card. I do. Changing new quests will be available on New Week. I mean, it's fine. I don't need whatever this is. <laughs> what is this? 20, 20 things, so it actually is quite a boost. Um, back on the right. Well, let's claim this, because we got rewards. Just the avatar. Score 10. And reward points for triggering Sabbath keywords ten times. Wow. That's really just the uh, the apprentice flying piggies. Uh, you can build a deck with it really fast. Go in unranked player and concede. Um, click back and journey on the right towards reward book. Oh. I'm blind, clearly. But this wasn't there before, was it? Maybe it was. Okay. Fine. You'll teach me all the things, like how to open my eyes and like read things. Anyway. Um Is it is it worth doing? Well I mean first what I should do, before the ten hours are up and before I forget this, let me just quickly go by this thing. Because we we specifically did that match so that we would have 24 if we won. But let's do that. Um, we don't even need to open it now, right? I assume we just keep the keg. Yep, yep, yep. Must smash, smash. But just in case. We'll quickly open this. So we got the 
um, Offery Merchant, sort of the top deck of your opponent's deck with yours. Sounds very risky. Um, damage two random enemy units by two. Fair enough. Walk a healer. A boost an allied unit or on the range road heal an allied unit. And the Lesser Witch, which is a relic, and if you spawn it, no, put it on the... When you play it, spawn a base copy of itself in the graveyard. And if it's bonded, then spawn a base copy of itself on the row instead. See, so if you have the two in your hand, you play one, you end up with one in, on the board, one in your graveyard. Then you play the next one, you end up with three on the board, and still one in the graveyard. Maybe there's um, something else which goes well with that, but I don't know about it. Um, Kikimor Warrior. Destroy an allied unit, then spawn a Kikimor Warrior on this row. Um, battering Ram. Or Imperial Diplomacy. So we don't need the, that because we've already got two of those. Um, destroy an allied unit, then spawn a Kikimor warrior. So you could just keep hitting your old units and getting more of these. Because it will come with a new spawn order. I guess that would go nicely with our um, leader ability currently. Maybe. And it... Is it a dual card? Because it, it seems to fade into monsters. I don't know. Anyway, I'll get it. I think that's what that is. The fade into... The orange into red. Yeah, dual faction card. The proper name for it. Not just what I said about fading or whatever. Um, okay. So we... We can build a deck with alchemy. That was it? Our quest. Not that kind of quest. This kind of quest. One alchemy cards. I don't even know what an alchemy card really is. Build a new deck. Uh, no need to build a whole deck. So, what, one of the starting decks, or... Like, alchemy itself... ...is any one of these things with the... ...the spell. I was like, this is an alchemy, but that's a unit who does something with alchemy. Alchemy. Just place ale in this deck. Oh. Um, like alchemy, because you you're assuming that I have ale. Boost the unit by five and remove its lock. Uh, place any alchemy. Yeah, doesn't matter. This one. There you go. So, a total X provision cost exceeds your lease's provision cap. Okay. Well, that's a five provision cost, so let's remove a witch for now. We'll have to come back and remember that we've removed the witch. And then unranked is... Uh, Training. Does it work if you play against the AI? It just says play it. it. Doesn't say it has to be a human that you're playing against. Player. I mean, it doesn't say that it has to be a, an AI, but it doesn't work with AI. Okay. But it doesn't say it. 
I'll add it to the list of things that Gwent maybe should add on its UI. Even though I'm finding things which I say, this is terrible. It should be really obvious, and then I find that it's on the, the front page. And I need you guys to find it for me. But apart from that... Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.